Welcome to DataBuild's Audio Visual Instruction. This lesson looks at units of measurement. Click the Units of Measurement icon in the main toolbar. Every time you open a new screen in DataBuild, you'll see it has its own toolbar. To add a new unit of measurement, click the Add New Unit icon. The system automatically adds a new unit to the bottom of the list. Type in the unit's name that you want displayed on the screen and the name you want on your printout. These can be different. Input a rounding factor. The rounding factor is important when calculating quantities. Input a divisor. Calculated prices are divided by this value. Select a calculation routine using the drop down menu. There are a number of calculation routines to choose from. In this case, it's per unit. You have the option to display the catalogue item as bold. You can select a unique colour, which means that all catalogue items in this unit of measurement will be, in this case, green. Let's have a look at the catalogue to see how the units of measurement fit in with the catalogue. This is the data bill catalogue. Here are the catalogue items. You can scroll down through the items. Here is one for temporary power pole hire for a 10 week period. This is price using the each unit of measurement. The next code is power pole hire per week. See the unit of measurement is per week. You can access the unit of measurement routine by clicking the edit units of measurement icon next to the drop down menu. This is the same routine we accessed from the main toolbar. See there is the unit of measurement number 33 we entered before. There is a heading code. When we look at the catalogue we can see that heading codes cannot have prices allocated to them. They are entered into the catalogue to create sections that are more identifiable. It's a visual thing. This is where the units of measurement are located in the catalogue. Click the blue door to exit units of measurement. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.